Hey everyone, so in this episode we're going to add a JavaScript text editor to make our post body look a lot better and easier to edit. So first of all we want to add a lib folder in our www root. So here is where we're going to be storing our JavaScript library. I will leave a link for this in the description so go ahead and check this out. Uh, Trimboagi is a uh, uh, WYS so what you see is what you get text editor so go ahead get, click get started and download so you want to download this package and I'll just extract it in my downloads real quick so once that's extracted uh, just go ahead and move it into your lib folder okay and we remove this zip okay so if you were running in the admin environment you might get uh, some errors because this is your user and this is your admin basically make sure it's the same uh, same user is running both the both the application and uh, whatever you get so open this up this folder is the one we want the rest is uh, just a uh, configuration for uh, actually like building it and stuff like that like packages it's like it'll guess all of this gets compressed into this single file so this is just what we want so we're only going to be using this when we're editing the post so go ahead and add a section here and we'll call it scripts and in this section we want to add a minified version now i know you can use normal versions uh, for development and minified for production but we're not gonna we're just gonna stick to minified for now so, so we don't have to um, sort of faff about with that so before that we also want to add a jquery since this library re relies on jquery and let's go ahead into our ui and let's add a minified css file here now now that that's done we want to make sure that our section here will get rendered to our layout so let's go to our layout clean this up a little okay and render section all right so if we run this now oh wait sorry completely forgot to specify the name and uh, that's us right. scripts right so scripts and here now this will crash and i just want to show you why so you don't if you ever encounter this error in the future you can you can know why so it will crash and if you just read this you will understand why it crashes it, we have two constructors and the second constructor um, also accepts a boolean which basically says is this section required so if it's required every single page needs to have this section otherwise let's just say false because not every section is going to have javascript okay so now we have this stuff let's go into our admin panel so i still have my session from the previous time and let's click edit so we have our body here let's change this up a little bit so oh yeah what the what the i forgot to say what the render section does if we go to our elements you can see this these scripts here right if we go to our home page because it's the index page you don't have any uh, render section scripts there the scripts disappear so the scripts are kind of belong to only a single page but we keep the layout so let's go ahead and add a text area and let's give it asp4 and let's give it an id of editor okay now we go again to our uh, website here uh, sorry the trombowiggy website and then here at the bottom let's add a script tag and give it an id of editor now if you're unfamiliar with um uh, 
CSS selectors dots a class and hash is an ID and if it's just a name it's a HTML element. Okay, now if we refresh this, let's see what happens. We get a full fledged text editor. All right now, this is something I've been testing before. But basically, in here we want to just make sure it works. So just type in some text, uh, use some, I don't know, centered text, uh, put a heading like bubble land, uh, and then uh, uh, let's just go crazy with this, you know, experiment. This is what it's all about. Uh, put this here on the side. Bye, monkey dude. Okay, so one more thing is we have an, as one of you noticed, we have an issue when we upload an image. And to solve this issue, first of all, let's go ahead into our panel controller. And uh, here's where we upload our uh, image. So let's add an if statement. And if VM image is null, right? If it's null, we want to keep the image the same. So image same. Else and typical. I fucking lo I I lo <laughs> typical. I lost the thingy. So image equals await. Uh, file manager dot save image vm dot image cool so okay so uh, not vm image but post image okay so to get this same one we want to be able to get it from here so let's just copy our body and add current image and we want to be able to add it here so current image and we get it from here as well so we get we set our current we set our current image to current image and when we submit our vm if our image is null we we basically we just keep the same one because we're creating a new one we're gonna start with a fresh value of empty string. Well, this is how we handle that. Now, let's go ahead and refresh this. Let's not choose a file, let's submit it. We'll go to our homepage and it breaks. Great. Um. Why did it break? Okay, so it broke because um, we are not actually storing the image. So <laughs> type hidden. Okay, so the image will be somewhere there, but we don't know yet. Okay, so let's put our image back there. Let's make sure it's displayed. There it is. Now let's introduce a change. So we We'll put it in the center and we'll say change. Okay, and we go to our home. Okay, image is still there. And if we go here, you can see we get this thing here. Now, to handle this, let's close all of this stuff since we're done there. Let's go into our home post. And here we want to use html.rom. And our model body, we want to supply it as a parameter to this function. And if we refresh, voila, easy. Now, one thing, uh, let's quickly, we can fix this up real quick. So I believe this is, yeah, this is just a margin issue. So let's go into our site.css. And 
in our post body. Let's give it a padding of 20 pixels. And 5 pixels, I want to say. Not X. Fresh. Cool. And uh, as a bonus, let's just give it a radius of 5 pixels on the bottom left and right. That looks like a bit of a postcard. Um, um, this is it for this episode. If you like, uh, subscribe. Otherwise, comment if you have any questions. I'll happy to answer them all. And uh, as always, see you in the next episode.